If you saw me 12 months ago, you would not believe that I was the captain of my school and college football teams. I had a cabinet full of trophies back home and my parents would show it off to anyone who visited the house. It was rather embarrassing back then. And then I started working. Offsides and goals we got replaced by offsides and targets. And this fit as a footballer was substituted by uh, 80 kgs, double chin, pot bellied, high cholesterol, corporate executive. Hectic travel schedules, late nights, stress eating, deadlines, everything was taking a toll on my body. And I could see it happening. But I did not know how to turn things around. I used to feel tired and sleepy right after waking up in the morning. And this feeling would last the whole day. I used to smoke a lot of cigarettes to handle the stress and a peg or two in the evening. Whiskey had become my weakness. I had tried going to the gym, I had tried running, but considering that I was carrying an excess weight of 15 kgs, I just didn't feel motivated enough to continue anything I started. It was in the pandemic I realized I had significant comorbidity. My doctor gave me an ultimatum. With a cholesterol of 302, I was a heart attack waiting to happen. And that's when I said to myself, get a grip, enough is enough. Few of my friends had visited Atmantan earlier and they spoke very highly about the place. I decided to give it a shot and it turned out to be one of the best decisions I've ever taken. When I came here for the first time a year ago, I was determined to turn things around. And now, on my third visit, I can vouch for it that this was the perfect place to help me get fit again. When I got here, I had a doctor consultation and I was put on the diabetes risk profiler and the results were one bad news after the other. I was a ticking time bomb. My BMI was high at 30 and my VO2 max, which is the best indicator of the cardiovascular fitness and aerobic endurance was way below average. A regular fit person my age would have a reading of 45 and mine was 32. The doctor told me that my anaerobic threshold wasn't good enough because of the high cholesterol and the mild calcification in my major blood vessels and this explained my breathlessness as well. Even my lipid profiles and liver enzymes were all deranged. That is why my cholesterol was high at 302 and the LDL, which is the bad cholesterol, was extremely high at 207. Another big shocker that came my way was that my vascular age, that is my arterial age, was 70. Now that's how old my dad is. As I sat there thinking and wondering how will I ever reverse all these conditions? The doctor, I think, understood what I felt and counseled me. She told me that the first thing I needed to do was to take a deep breath and relax. And she told me how the team here would put me back on track slowly and steadily. In fact, she walked me through how my next three weeks here would look like. My body was subjected through a thorough cleanse first and then put through various treatments every day like Basti, Nyasa, Udvartanam, Abhyanga, Patarpinda, Churnapinda, Virechana and many more. And they did this unique abdominal treatment called the CNT. Chicken biryani ki kasam, wo har pok mein nani aadave. Well, they did explain that it would release all the chokes and stress points, but during the treatment, it felt like janam janam ki dushmani nikal rahe. The most exciting part though was the physical training sessions. The core building circuit, Zumba, cardio, even yoga and meditation. My body started responding to all of these. I felt like the energy coming back and I didn't feel tired anymore.
I'm a big foodie and with an appetite like mine, it's not easy to make me happy. And imagine my plight. They put me on a short, intermittent fasting routine. I don't know if it was the doctor's guidance, the team support or the tasty food. I was able to do it without getting really hangry. Well, that's a mix of hungry and angry, you know. Of course, there's a healing curve, as they call it, but there's nothing that's not manageable. During my first visit of three weeks, I had my fitness levels up, my diet had changed drastically, and I was all ready to go home and commit to this new lifestyle. I stayed with this program, so I had access to their doctors even when I was at home. And then, I was back for another 10 days to this pit stop. It was a quick fix and out again. The first time I was here, I had heard about the envious views at the trek at Atmantan. So I decided to go. And when I went for the trek, I was not able to go beyond the first 15 minutes. I had to be escorted back. And the second time around, when I completed the trek, I was like, yeah, the champ is back in the house. This is my third time at Atmantan. I'm here for 10 days again to continue what I started. And my ritual of acing the trek continues. Today, I can proudly share this with you. My cholesterol has normalized from a high of 302 to 150 in a year. My LDL has reduced from 207 to 90 and I've lost 12 kilos. I am no longer a ticking time bomb. I have a genetic history of cholesterol which I have to watch out for, but now I am confident I can manage it well. My whole life has been transformed in the last year. I feel like my former self again. I'm making small changes to my lifestyle based on everything I've learned here. And I'm happy to say I've quit smoking and I've shown the red card to most of my bad choices.